I'm Lindsay Partridge and welcome to Horse Crazy Rants where funny facts and opinions collide for one hella good time. So saddle up with me because we're going on a horse crazy rant. So her dynamics. Some people have this crazy notion that mares and geldings can't go in the same paddock. It's like they think that if a gelding and a mare all of a sudden get together that this big epic battle is going to ensue. Oh no! Oh no! It's happening! It's happening! The thing about horses is that jerks are going to be jerks. It's like some horses just don't get along with each other. It's like high school drama where just some people are more sassy than others and don't get along. So with horses, I find it goes way better if we match horses based on their personality instead of just on their gender. So some horses are more docile and they do a lot better together and then some are more boisterous and they do way better together. There are also some other things that we can do to help horses get along better out in the paddock. So let's take a look outside. This is Dreamer. He's a horse that came to us because he was really, really dominant and they were having problems at the place where he was kept where he was fighting with the other horses and actually cornering other horses in the shelter and, and it was quite a little bit dangerous. So this horse here, this is Saxon. Saxon's a very dominant horse and he's the horse that keeps Dreamer in line as well as the other horses and it works because he's, he's dominant and he's definitely the boss and he'll step in there and he can get whatever hay he wants but he doesn't chase the other horses. He'll get them out of his space, but he's not gonna go randomly out and attack another horse or kick them for no reason. He's very fair. He just wants what he wants. He gets it and he leaves them alone. This is Shauna. Shauna's a nice little mare horse. What happens with her is when she goes in with really docile horses, she can become quite mean and she'll actually start to pin her ears at them and go after them and bite them. So her being in this paddock, she's with other horses that have that same sort of pushy personality and it keeps her being getting along really nice with the other horses and then there aren't the fights. So this is a bossy mare here and this is a bossy gelding, but they get along because they've got similar personalities. So one of the keys with horses, I think when you're keeping them, is their food. Horses fight for different reasons, different personalities, maybe they're new horses, they're trying to be playful, but a big one has to do with food. So here we try to make sure that the horses always are getting enough food and enough good quality food so that way they don't feel the need to attack each other over the littlest bite. A big one you'll see in our paddocks, we have mixed horses, we try to put the docile horses together and then over here is where we have the horses that are the more dominant personalities or the more pushy. Maybe they're not really mean and aggressive, but they just tend to get a little bit more bitey or dominant or kicky or really playful, boisterous. So it helps to keep things really friendly. Another thing you'll notice here is we give our horses lots of space to give it away. And I think that's really important. They both need to have hay so that way they're not gonna fight over the food. So we need to make sure we're feeding them enough so they're not starved and they're not attacking for that last little bite of hay. But also, look at all the space that they have. So if uh, we take a look at the horses, we've got some horses eating at a feeder here. There's another feeder down there. It's only got two horses at it right now. Then we've got these horses over here that are just taking a little bit of a break. And this field's actually connected. If they walk down and around, there's a shelter and then they come on to the other side. You can see there's another horse hiding out in the shelter here. And you can see this guy, he's, he's the boss of the paddock, but he's certainly not being dominant or pushy. And we can definitely have a safe mixed herd altogether. together. <laughs>